Hi, I'm Naomi Alam Segid, Project Coordinator from Fairview Health Services. At Fairview, we are committed to the health and well being of our neighbors, both inside and outside our hospitals and clinics. Fairview is rooted in our community, so we know we can make a big impact where people live, work, learn, play, and pray. Research shows that the time someone spends visiting a hospital or clinic accounts for only one-fifth or 20% of their overall health. The other four-fifths or 80% of your health and well-being depends on other things. These are things like income, education, housing, and well-being, and being able to get healthy food. We call these the social determinants of health. When people can't get the resources they need, they often have poorer health outcomes, diseases that could have been prevented, long-term stress, and unhealthy body weight. Fairview works with community members, local organizations, and public health departments to understand the health needs and strengths of our community. One of the ways we do this is through a community health needs assessment. Every three years, we take time to gather and review data and listen. We use this information to learn what makes the community strong. We also listen to what people say are the top needs or gaps in well-being services in their area. This year, our community health needs assessment focused on health equity. We connected with the community through committees, focus groups, surveys, and interviews. We collected feedback from people in programs as well as community partners. We listened to and learned from people with a wide range of views, experiences, and backgrounds. We are proud to share that after months of work, our latest community health needs assessment is complete. Based on what we learned, we identified these health priorities. Navigating and accessing care and resources, healing, connectedness, and mental health, structural racism, and barriers to equity. Many needs fall under each of these concerns. We will use the feedback we got to help guide us in creating and expanding programs and services. Here are a few examples of the many things that we heard. Navigating and accessing care and resources. We also call this finding your way to care and resources. Community members described problems ranging from a lack of trust in healthcare systems to not being able to access services. Here are some of the reasons they couldn't get services. They didn't have medical insurance. They had no way to get to and from the clinic. They were afraid of what it would cost. Healing, connectedness, and mental health. This means helping people feel connected and well. We learned that people want mental health care that fits their culture. They want doctors and nurses that look like them and have similar backgrounds. We learned that many community members feel isolated and alone. Also, there are a lot of young people in crisis who need intervention and care. Structural racism and barriers to equity. We learned that the way society keeps some people from being able to get a job or pay their bills and causes them to worry about getting enough food all have a bad effect on people's health. Because words carry meaning, we also spent a lot of time talking with and about our diverse neighbors. One of the things we heard from the community is that language matters. We know that the social determinants of health impact some groups more than others. That means we need to see and hear the needs of communities that are often overlooked and silenced. Based on what we heard, we are prioritizing two populations, racial and ethnic populations experiencing health disparities and people experiencing poverty. The people in these groups are all ages and they live everywhere from the countryside to the city. We don't simply learn about the biggest needs in our communities, we work with others in the community to understand the best ways to address them. There are several programs and services that were created because of past community health needs assessments. These programs continue to support community health needs. For example, together with partner organizations, our Cultural Broker Program serves five cultural communities. Cultural brokers are people who connect community members with resources, give support to whole families when it's most needed, and help community members understand and work with healthcare. The brokers speak the same language as the people they talk to and make their connections in organizations where community members already gather, not at a hospital or clinic. 
As we learn about new community needs or learn more about existing ones, we work with others in the community to respond. We invite you to get involved with our efforts, such as serving on a patient advisory committee or taking part in a community health program. We want to be your partner in improving health, not only your personal health, but that of your family, neighbors, and community. Thank you for your partnership.